Good morning, everyone. We're continuing over here in the ideas that we said the last couple of days in Ravobe. And we ended off yesterday with this beautiful marshal, this parable of the Chavis and Lavavos, of a person who is in prison and is eventually rescued and redeemed by a certain person. And the man that was enslaved in the prison will constantly be gracious towards the one who bailed him out. And yet we find with our own parents who are doing so many acts of hatava, of, of goodness for us, over there are hakara satayv, and the gratitude that we give is limited. So he writes like this, If parents would tell the kids, listen, from now on, you're not getting a penny from me. And if you need something, you better go work for it, because the only money you're going to have is the money that you earn. This son will have no understanding at all of what the kavan of what the parents were thinking. Because according to the parents, according to the son, according to Lavanosa, this is his basic understanding. Whatever he gets from his parents, he deserves. So he doesn't understand why they're telling me now, go and get a job. Whatever you give me, I deserve. The same thing is true with Hashem. A person looks at his life, and he looks at the way that HaKadosh Baruch Hu runs his life. And he says to himself, hey, I deserve all the goodness that Hashem is sending me. What I do wrong? I'm a tzaddik, I'm a great person, I'm, I have sacrificed for my mitzvahs and my Torah, I'm working so hard. Sure, I deserve it, says the Chayvah, says Ravobo over here. I deserve to have the, all the good that Hashem sends. However, if a person would receive something that's when he calls Yoytzim and Aklal, it goes beyond what we would have expected to have, something very special. Then suddenly a person is able to arouse himself and wake up and say, Oh, I have to give gratitude to Hashem. I have to thank Him. Yeah, Hashem did so much for me. This altar Mikhelm taught us that even when it comes to acquiring a Muna, you need very special Avaida to be able to complete it. In order that we can implant inside of our hearts these days, these thoughts and understandings in the proper way when we um, when we see that ultimately everything is really coming from Hashem. I want to wish everybody a wonderful Shabbos. We should take advantage of the holiness and the sanctity of Shabbos to be able to recognize HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to be able to recognize the koiches, the strengths that we have inside of us, to be able to see the good and the redeeming qualities in others, and to see that ultimately every little thing that I have in my life is unnecessary. And if HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave it to me, it's because He's giving me a gift here in this world. And it's my job to be makabal, to receive that with all of my heart, the best that I possibly can. A person will do that, then they will come to the level of HaKar Satayv. One from everybody at Mokar I want to wish you a wonderful Shabbos a great day, and we look forward to learning next week.